Welcome back to my kitchen, Judy's Keto Kitchen. Today we're making a keto version of Pad Thai. And I'm gonna make it with the, my egg noodles. And I have a recipe on how to make egg noodles with whole eggs or just egg whites. But I'm gonna make the Pad Thai sauce first. And for that, you need three tablespoons of lime juice. and three tablespoons of lemon juice. Now you're gonna need a teaspoon of tomato puree or tomato paste. So I have this tomato paste here. We're gonna do a teaspoon of that. Well, I'm gonna need to use my fingers. A half a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. three tablespoons of fish sauce, and you can buy this in any grocery store. It used to be hard to find, but now just about every grocery store has it. And three tablespoons of fish sauce. If you do not have fish sauce, you could use soy sauce or Bragg's amino acids, but fish sauce tastes pretty good. Then we're gonna have one and a half tablespoons of chili garlic sauce. I always have some chili garlic sauce in my refrigerator. And you want a, a tablespoon of nut butter. I'm going to use peanut butter. You can use sesame butter. You can use almond butter. I like peanut butter. And you're gonna need a teaspoon of rice wine vinegar, a couple of drops of liquid stevia or any sweetener that you like, just a couple. I don't like my things sweet, so. And then you're gonna mix it all up. Make sure you get the peanut butter all mixed in. You can use a little whisk if you want. And then it, it's nice with some um, fresh cilantro. This isn't the time of year for s fresh cilantro. So I'm, this is cilantro from my garden. I'm just gonna put some dried cilantro in there because I love the taste of cilantro. Now to make pad thai, I have some egg noodles that I made a while ago and I will link to the video. It's made in sheets and I'll link to the uh, pan that I use it um, in the oven. And, and this, this is whole egg noodles. And what I do is I roll them up in parchment paper and I freeze them until I need them. So this has been in the freezer and now I'm using it for my pod thai. And my Nakato knife, which is very sharp, I'm gonna cut it into strips and you can cut it as thin as you want. Some people like, you know, the, the thinner pad thai, some th people like it thicker. You just put the noodles in your dish and put the pad thai sauce over it. Now, to make this as a meal, you'd probably add some, um, some cooked chicken, diced chicken, shrimp, pork, anything. So that's really good on pad thai as well. But I'm just having it, I'm, I just love the pad thai sauce, so I'm just having it as is. Yes, you can heat this up. Last time I made this, somebody said, you're eating it cold. Yes, I like it cold. If you want it heated up, put it in a little pan, heat it up, and it's fine. My noodles are room temperature, so egg noodles with keto pad thai sauce. Mm. That is so good. I've been missing pad thai. Also, if you're using peanut butter, you can chop up some peanuts, put some peanuts on top. As I said, peanuts, diced chicken, cooked shrimp, pad thai sauce, um, egg noodles. So good.